Good evening, everyone. It's Friday, November 23rd, 2018. Late doing a comic book week today because there was some sort of mix-up at my local comic book shop with their supplier and the uh, new comics didn't arrive on Wednesday like they should have. And so I had to wait until, wait until today for them to come in. So, such is life. Got a small little thing to show you today, and a surprise, you know, a special little sneak peek surprise, you know, I'll show at the end of the video, just to make you wait till the end. <laughs> it's my evil little plan. So, here we go. From Walmart, the 100-page uh, giant Superman, number five. Somehow my Walmart failed to carry number four, I went from three to five. Apparently four was just too stubborn. But I don't know. <laughs> Superman kind of looks reminds me a little bit of Wolverine in his appearance on this one. Plus, why does Superman need boxing gloves? Anyway, five dollars. Not much to say about it. Superman, I grab it. This isn't a comic, but I don't know. I'll just show it anyway because I grabbed it. You know, kind of a um, magazine of history, of Superman, kind of a thing. You know, celebrating the 80-year anniversary special, Hollywood Spotlight Collector's Edition. You know, love Superman. That's why I got it. Just you know, nice. You know, 13 bucks. So I, history, of Superman. Always find it fascinating. He's my favorite. All right, the one thing from eBay, Superman and Action Comics number. 689 again ticking down only a few more issues left before I complete my reign of Superman run who watches Superman like it nice can't wait till I'm done collecting I didn't realize that how until I started getting them just how many there were but again that Rain or run lasted a year between the death and the rebirth. All right, from my again from my local comic book shop, the Flash number fifty one, the epilogue of the Flash Wars, or Flash War should I say, Wally's last race. Oops, sorry about that. The last race. No, I just got a um my tattoo here. You know, my uh, Greek mythology tattoo touched up today, so don't have quite the flexibility, maneuverability, grip, any of all the above, you know, that I would normally. I like this cover. I mean, I like the, I mean, the uh, boots, his boots remind me of like a old statue you know from like you know greek mythology statue where you just see the feet or romans or greek or roman history statue where well, i see the feet because the rest of the statue's been destroyed you know over time you know kind of it's just perfect uh, per perfect to go along with the eulogy of this is the end period or epilogue should i say not the eulogy although it's kind of the same thing in that regard I don't know, disagree with me, you can walk my word choices. Sometimes they suck. Alright, you know, the foil cover. Flash number 56. Been in my folder for a while, finally picked it up. I just have too much I put in the folder, you know, and I can't get it all at once, and so I get it. The important thing is I get it when I can. They know it. So they, they don't mind, they don't care, but because they know... I'll eventually pick it up. I'll pay them what they want. Or what they want, what they pay them what they are, get, are gonna get. Sorry, I'm a little tired. <sighs> My mind is really scatterbrained. But I like the I like this cover a lot. I like the position, I like the black. I don't know, this might even be a CGC contender for me like it. Alright. 
old school from the 88, I think, or 87. Web of Spider-Man, number 36. A uh, key issue, I think it's the first appearance of Tombstone, if I remember correctly. I like the, I mean, I've never been really big into Spider-Man. I guess I've gotten into it just a little bit more because of the passing of Stan Lee. And I've always been fascinated too with the black, even though the black is not my favorite. I don't know, just something about the black. It's not my favorite, but I like it. Kind of reminds you, kind of reminds you of family, doesn't it? You know, I love, I love them, but do I have to like them? <laughs> but anyway, it's cool. Um, the Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows issue fifteen. It's always been interesting. I guess to me this whole family family connection, you know, Spider Man, you know, Peter Parker, Mary Jane and his daughter all have spider powers, at least correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, but at least I think, because uh, this will be the second one I've read of Renew Your Vows. But in the first one, she didn't have powers, Mary Jane. So, I don't know how she, um, was she bit by another radioactive spider? Or did, um, it's kind of like, um, kind of like Kryptonite with Lex Luthor, you know. Humans, it might not affect him like it affects humans like it does super, like Superman being Kryptonian, but exposed long enough, it, um affects you too, so maybe, you know, I don't know, it's kind of like the coal she caught up from him. So, if you know, let me know. Um, I wasn't gonna get this. I actually wasn't. But, just flipping through the, flipping through the pages and looking at it. Uncanny X-Men number two. Flipping through the pages. And the very last page, I won't spoil anything, you know, in case, you know, you're, in case, you know, one of you, one of my viewers here, is spoiler alert, man, don't know, no spoils. But the very last page was like, huh? So I just had to buy it because I had to finish reading it. So, so, so spoil, so spoiler alert, the last page will make you want to read the whole thing. <laughs> All right, part of the Drowned Earth storyline, Justice League number 12, part three. With a nice little Legion of Doom on the cover. Don't know why the Joker's on the throne. I always thought Lex Luthor was the boss. Joker might be crazy. And you might be stupid to cross him, but you still gotta have more brains than crazy. Not the best cover. But then again, I guess it's Legion of Doom, so the dark... The dark feel works for it. And last but not least, as far as comics, Aquaman number 42, a tie-in for the Drowned Earth. I thought the last one, Aquaman tie-in, was it was like a one, one-off kind of thing, only, only one. Sorry. Uh, only one, but I guess there might be more tie-ins to the storyline. Look forward to seeing how it ends, you know. Whole Earth being drowned in alien transforming oceans or sea creature transforming oceans, you gotta wonder just how things are gonna be saved. All right, now for the big surprise. We know that Stan Lee passed away here on the 12th, and one of my hobbies includes painting. And well, I wanted to try, you know, I wanted to practice more portraits because of another surprise I'm doing for my mom for her birthday coming up. I wanted to do a portrait of her. So to make it really nice, I wanted more practice doing faces because faces are the hardest thing for me. So I'm thinking around, what do I do? You know, you know, thinking, I'm gonna wind up going, I'm, just, I'm gonna go to Google, do face portraits and pick a face I like. But, and then Stanley passed away, and I thought, you know what? That's perfect. I'll do one of him. So, without further ado, my portrait of Stanley.
to honor the man, the legend. Alright. Completed it the day before Thanksgiving. Hopefully that light doesn't play tricks with... Doesn't play tricks with the portrait. So uh, that's him. And um, I don't know if any of you have seen um, the uh, Sandlot movie when uh, Babe, Babe Ruth did it, visits um, or visits um, Benny in his dream, and he says, "Remember, kid, heroes are remembered, but legends never die." So I wanted to include that because it's just he he is. I mean, how many people can say they created a universe? You know, so. My first, you know, so that's what it is. Up close and all that. Really nice. And my custom signature on the bottom. With my initials. So, let me know what you think of this. You know, because I really worked hard on this. And I think it's my second favorite portrait I've ever done. My first being an old teacher of mine who passed away. He meant an awful lot to me and my community. And put, and put it put it one way that when my he, this teacher was so loved that when he died his funeral was held at the local high school in the football field bleaches were filled that's how loved he was and so obviously I worked above and beyond to make his portrait and so Stanley here I worked above and be, worked really hard doing it but so you know, it's my second favorite just because of my first favorite being my teacher so let me know what you think in the comments below if you like it if you don't like it be nice <laughs> you know constructive criticism is still criticism so worked really hard let me know what you think of it in the comments below if you like it so you know may stanley may he rest in peace because he might be gone but he's still with us and his legend is legacy and he is still with us Affecting everyone who watches a movie, a Marvel movie, or a Marvel comic. Well, that's it for my video. Hope you enjoyed it. And hopefully I'll be doing one on video again on Wednesday here. And provided no uh, mess-ups are happening at, mo at the shop with delivery. So, hope you enjoyed the video. See you later, and have a good night.